Jackson and Egypt Sherrod. Hello. Hello. <laughs> wow. You guys are stunning in person. Thank I've, you. Well, look who's talking. I know. Right? Oh, what? we've You're decided I'm fly. Diane Keaton in the latest Hallmark <laughs> Christmas movie. <laughs> Um, adorable. Is it true, Egypt, that you guys met during like a house flip? That kind of. We met before. You want to tell us? We story? had three different incidents where we met. Short you know, version, it was ordained. Short version. Short version. We met. The light was only shining on her. I said, "That's <gasps> my wife." But literally, Drew. So when he met me, he actually said that, and I thought it was a line. So I was like. Excuse me. <laughs> Look, I thought it was a line. I thought he was adorable. I mean, obviously, but I don't like lines. Like, just talk to me. But I, miss, I missed out. So a year later, I was working on a flip house mm -hmm. in New Jersey. I decided to try and tar a roof by myself, and mm -hmm. I fell through. Decided I needed some help, obviously. And his team showed up. <sighs> oh. so, oh. With, it, with his S on his chest. <laughs> yes! And I said, wait a minute, I know you. And he's like, uh-huh. Uh-huh. It was <laughs> ordained. Like, what, what are you doing here? And he's like, this is my team, this is what I do. And then he looked really sexy in his tool belt. I just couldn't resist, like the whole tool time. Tool belt! I was standing there eating french fries, <laughs> watching him work like. And then you guys fell in love, yeah. and now you're making yeah. a show together, yeah. and. That's amazing, right? It's a blessing. It's, you're doing. Something you love with the person you love. Yeah. Something you love with the person you love. Well, yeah. I love design. Yes, we know. Um, design's my boyfriend. <laughs> and I would love to ask you guys some hot tips, advice, sort of, mm -hmm. you know, gut instincts, takes, because this is, this is my sexy conversation. Hey, let's do it. Um, okay, what is a trend you love, though, right now? I think future walls are becoming very trendy. Well, no, because But feature, they're not going anywhere. Well, it, but it's like, we started with feature walls. Um, for those who followed HGTV, mm. what, a decade ago, it was just paint a wall. Right. And it was a feature wall, and now we have gotten so explicit with it and so creative. Mike and I will literally pick up Remember the remnants? Yes. He had yes. hardwood floor remnants, and they're sitting in a pile, and it's Ooh. like, how can we use these yes. and make this amazing art mm. on a wall? It's a feature wall. Right. Okay, so that, to me, is a great design tip. Now, what is a paint that everybody should dare to use? What's a color you dare people that to use? That I love, right, use. that I dare you to use? Dare to use. I love, you know, I love blues. I love moody blue. Mm. Um, what's the one that we just used, the aqua smoke? Oh, there's this uh -huh. color. It just, honestly, this, this color makes me want to just make love to my husband. Oh, oh what, what is that wait, color? I'm like, Find that well, color. who makes it? <laughs> Where do I buy this color? It will send your hormones raging. It's called aqua smoke. Well, okay, so we have a woman who wrote us in for um, a design dilemma, okay. and she really wants your help. Um, would you be willing to guide her through um, two spaces that she has questions about? We're What's here the for dilemma? It. Bring okay, it on. Okay, perfect. Um, Bring it on. on. Roll the tape. <laughs> Hi, Drew Barry Marshall. My name is Simone, and I'm the mother of two amazing but sloppy children. I could really use your help with our entryway. My kids throw everything and anything in that space and it makes the house look junky and cluttered before you even get in the house. I could really use your help with that space. Oh, Simone, I so relate. Simone is here with us now. Hi, Simone. <laughs> Hi, Drew. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be with you. You are so stylish. I'm <laughs> picking you. up everything you are putting down. <laughs> All right, Simone, what is like your number one frustration when you walk in the door? You said it on the video, sloppy. First of all, coming home from a full day of work, nobody wants to come into their home or their space and like, boom, the crap is right there. I need help because when it comes to decor, organization, that's not, I'm, I'm very... I'm not that person. All right, I'm well, not. Egypt, um, your solution is genius yeah. and budget-friendly. Tell us. Okay. So get ready for this. It's going to completely blow your mind. Okay. When you take a look over here at this amazing mudroom, would you be surprised to know that this is just a $100 bookshelf? What? Yeah, baby. A bookshelf. We completely made a drop zone out of a bookshelf that you can buy at a big box store. Mm. Anyone can do this. Add some baskets, peel and stick wallpaper in the back. Depending on the season or the color that you're feeling of the week, you can also change out the wallpaper or go right on top of it. And Mike, like, explain how to do this. What do you do? This is the backing, which is here. 
Now, if you notice, this is three bookshelves put together. If you did have this, you'd take the shelves and you would screw them together Anchor so they them. would be anchored okay. safely, right? Now, if for some reason the backing of that particular bookshelf that you find at a big box store or maybe a consignment shop doesn't come off, you may want to cut this to size, then peel it and stick it on there. I but love an X-Acto knife, too. If it does pop off, pop it off. Do it right here on the table or a table. Stick it on there. Pop it right back in. And then once that's said and done, grab you some hooks and place them where you want them to go. Any style that fits your style. And you're all done.